Prolite build. If you have the street scene in the background like this one here, then you have the Prolite build. Now this only applies to Prolite, so keep that in mind. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says uh, System. Okay, let's head back there. Thanks. Okay, so we'll click over their system. Then we're going to go under System where it says Programs. And in programs, we're going to look for Prolite. So let's continue to go down, and I see Prolite right here. So that's Prolite Wizard. Click on that. And it's going to bring up a list of Prolite builds. The one that we want, it'll say Prolite updated, and it'll have a date on the bottom. You want the one with the newest date. Um, this next one over is just a different build. It's called Schism Moonshine. And then the last one is Prolux. None of those apply to us. We want this one that's called Prolite Updated, and the date will change according to um, when the latest build is out. So um, we'll click on that right now, and it'll start downloading the wizard. The download time depends on your download speed, so some will be faster than others. And as it's downloading, when it gets to 100%, it's going to start extracting the file. And um, we'll go ahead and do that right now instead of throw away here. Now the reason why you want to do an update is sometimes if you're having some issues with it and it's uh, not performing like it normally does, then there may be an update that um, you may not be aware of. So it's um, kind of nice to check this wizard every once in a while when you're having some issues because that's usually the, uh, the issue is it needs to be updated. This particular build is a great build, but um, it has to be manually updated. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, we're just about approaching 100% here. Okay, now we're at 100%, it's going to start extracting. So basically what it did was it downloaded 100% of the file and now it's expanding the file because it comes compressed so it's putting it and expanding it onto your fire stick. Now we're approaching 100% of the expansion. And now it says um, coding needs to uh, be force closed. So once you get to this point here, what you want to do is you want to unplug your fire stick from the power source. So not from the your, your television, but just from the power. So take the power supply and just unplug it. And then plug it back in. Once you plug it back in, wait, wait for it to boot up. And then you will go to Cody like you normally would, which is go all the way to the bottom to settings <clears throat> then from settings go over to the right to applications then all the way to the bottom manage all applications then from manage, manage all applications you're going to go to Kodi and then um, launch Kodi and you should be updated and you should be good to go I'm not going to do that here because I'm doing this on a, on a different uh, device so um, it's not an Amazon but I wanted to report it so that's why I'm using this device but um, in your case um, just do that. And if you have any questions, as always, you can contact me. Thank you. Have a great day.